Welcome back to the Ed Show. Let's find out what the folks had to think about that last interview. Did you just hear that last interview? What did you think of the mayor? I, I certainly did. Uh, well, I, I've been a friend of the mayor for a long time, but he's wrong on this one. I, uh, what I would like to say, I would like to I invite my non-union friends to real not be angry with those of us who were in a union and do have benefits. Vote no on two and join a union and get some benefits, get some worker rights. What do you say to the mayor when he says it's about the money? He doesn't have the money to run the city. I think you told him just exactly what we feel. My, Ed, you did a nice job. All right. What, what your thoughts on it, ma'am? Same. Same. Same as you? Yes, sir. Well, I think he has courage to come here and yes. speak his mind, yes. and I think the governor ought to do the same thing. Yes. And, you know, for him, I think he's misdirected and his the money is not the end result here. He needs to look at the facts and what the end result will be with this passage of this bill. Sir, what do you think of that interview with that gentleman? I don't know the mayor, but I, I believe that uh, he's just using his talking points. The mayor is forgetting that, you know, once he's out of office, he's coming back in the same, looking for jobs. He'd have to go by the same rules as everyone yeah. else. He's been told what to do, and he's planned it pretty well. And the, the way I take it, it comes down to priorities, is what I talked about earlier in the show. We are facing a list of priorities in this country. What's important to us? Is it important to attack the middle class when it comes to collective bargaining? Look, if you're for collective bargaining, then you have to go no on two. I don't know what else you can do. The, the, but what we're seeing in this country is mayors just like Mike Bell, who's being pressured at a local level because the feds aren't getting the money into the treasury and the state's not getting the money it needs to give basic services to people such as teachers, firefighters, the lot, which makes up the foundation of this country. Stay with us. We're right back with more from Toledo. After. <laughs>